right. So it's about 647. Not about it, it's 647. Um, actually got a little bit of a late start today. I'm not exactly sure what happened. If it was, um, you know, my, my alarm like didn't go off or I slept through it. All I know is that I, I woke up on my own at one point and I was all excited. Like, oh, I beat the alarm. And I look at my clock and it's like, oh, it's 2.30 it's in the morning. Okay, uh, <laughs> going back to sleep. So we've got our Fenty cold brew here with six pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup, which is what I get like basically every time. Um, yeah, I'm weird like that. Uh, <laughs> but every Friday I like to, uh, usually I drink coffee every morning, uh, but it's it's the type where, you know, you, you buy it just from the store, Starbucks, naturally. But it's just the mix that you make at home. But I figure every Friday it's nice to kind of like, you know, treat myself and uh, I actually go and we'll get this. And I'm gonna sip on this and I'm actually letting the car charge while I do, which is kind of a nice double double whammy. So after I've uh, drank this whole thing and let it kind of, you know, digest and all that, we'll take our pre-workout and we're gonna hit the gym, Gold's Gym, for some uh, chest and shoulders. All right, time to mix up our pre-workout here. For reference, I like to use the uh, the Ghost Legends. Uh, I have the, uh, this, this, the, what is it, Sour Watermelon Warheads flavor. Um, I really like these guys because I think they're just solely like if nothing else because the flavors are awesome. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, highly recommend. And I, plus, I think it's just a good pre-workout. It's you know, it it's a very clean energy. You don't get that jittery feeling. So yeah, big fan, big fan of all the ghost stuff. Mix this baby up, and then uh, let's hit some chest and shoulders. our workout um, I'm starving I haven't <laughs> I've been up since like 6 it's so now you know about 11 so I haven't eaten yet today uh, I'm a big fan of the whole intermittent fasting thing but it's time to break the fast so for those of you who don't know me and are like why am I watching this idiots video uh, my name is Clark Hill I'm a voice actor and a fitness model right now I live in Los Angeles California a big part of what you'll see in my you know if you watch my videos and things like that is obviously the voice actor part I do a lot of voices and impressions and that's kind of what I specialize in. And then on the fitness side of things, um, just because I released a new cookbook that's out on Amazon and Apple Books called the Junk Fit Cookbook, my big thing, I really focus on the nutrition and cooking aspect of things. So I'm always coming up with you know, creative new recipes and things like that. My whole gimmick is trying to make foods that we consider junk food uh, fit or healthy for lack of a better term. Macro friendly pizza, burgers, things like that. So I try and make a new recipe every week and this week we are making lemon bar French toast, lemon barbell French toast because I'm all about the dad jokes. You're probably asking what am I doing holding these lemons? You can use the pre-made uh, lemon juice that you can buy at the grocery store. I personally think these taste a lot better with fresh cut, fresh squeezed lemons. I actually used to be able to juggle these a little bit back in the day. Let's see if I can still do it. Oh, we still got it, baby. So as you guys can see here, we've got all our ingredients already prepped and everything is set out. Um, you don't necessarily have to be this like nice and organized, but if you're gonna film something like this, it really helps so you're not having to stop the camera every two seconds and open up your pantry and all that. So we're just gonna go down the line. We've got our cinnamon, we've got our vanilla extract, we've got our collagen protein powder here, got skim milk, 
Got our Swerve Replacement Granular Sugar. Uh, some nice Log Cabin Original Syrup, which is my favorite brand of syrup. Use whichever one you like, doesn't really matter. Uh, some whole wheat flour, our three slices of our brioche bread, and our two eggs. All right guys, so we are ready to get started. We've got our oven preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Behind us, we've also got our pan warming up to low medium heat. So first thing we're going to do is separate one of these eggs. So we're only gonna use the egg whites to make the French toast mix. So all you gotta do is just crack it just a little bit and you open it kind of upright so the, the yolk stays in, everything falls out. All the whites in there and then to get the rest of them we just literally go back and forth like that and as you do it more of the whites come out so do it a couple times there until pretty much all the whites are gone you've only got a yolk left toss that yolk in because we're gonna use this for our lemon lemon filling lemon meringue whatever you want to call it let's go ahead and crack our other egg into where we're gonna make this lemon filling here That's all set. Grab my towel here so I'm not trying to pick up all this stuff with yolk all over my hands and egg whites all over my hands. So, to the lemon filling, we're gonna add one tablespoon here. And I'm gonna make a shorter version of this that I'll put on Instagram reels and everything. It'll be about a minute long so you don't have to watch this, this giant vlog video to find like, oh, where's the recipe? I don't care about it working out. Uh, so we're going to do that, we're going to do three tablespoons of our swerve sugar, so one, two, three. Let's set that kind of out of the way. I really wish I had a bigger kitchen, but... We work with what we got, right? So I've got that all set in. We're gonna add in one scoop of our collagen protein powder. And uh, I like these Vital Collagen guys. Um, I think they do a really good job. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of collagen protein just in general. I just, I, I think the taste is, or I mean the taste is fine, but it's more the consistency. It's kind of like this, like it's sort of like slimy and sticky, which I guess is the idea. But the good news is that if you don't, necessarily like to drink it by itself, that same, that same texture works really well as a thickening agent for baking and cooking and things. Stir this baby up here. Kind of get that going. Mmm, yummy. Now I know as a chef, you're supposed to taste your work as you go. Uh, don't taste this, it has raw eggs in it and uh, we sh you're technically not supposed to consume raw eggs despite what the Rocky movies would tell you. So if you wanna see how you're doing, just kinda give it a whiff and you'd be like, oh, you know, that, that needs more lemon or oh, that could be a little sweeter. So it's very important to kinda do it as you go. And now the final bit, we are gonna chop up one of our lemons. So, do this and you only need about a half. And we're only using one egg and one egg yolk so it's okay if it's not super vibrant yellow like this. It will taste very good once it is poured into the French toast, which I'll show you how to do in a second here. Bake in the oven to let it set. And it's literally just like a normal lemon bar. The only difference is that instead of putting it on a crust, you're putting it literally in a piece of French toast. And how much better does it get? I mean, what exactly would this would be? Breakfast, dessert, brexert? I'm not really sure. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, right? Food scale. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of these. You can ballpark it, you can just use a tablespoon and everything, but to actually make sure you're using the serving sizes that lists it, you know, under the uh, nutrition label correctly, you definitely want to use these. This was 20 bucks at Costco. I mean, they're nothing. I took a second to clean up because I didn't want to make you guys sit through that. I'm like, oh God, now we got to watch them clean up. 
maple syrup, we want to do a tablespoon and a half, which according to this is 45 milliliters. And if you're off by a gram, fine. Don't like, ah, I'm off by a gram, I need to start over, it's, the recipe's ruined. Half a teaspoon of our vanilla extract, one ounce of skim milk. I don't like to waste food or I don't like to make the wrong amount of ingredients and everything, it drives me insane. For our three pieces of brioche toast here, this ends up being literally like the perfect amount to coat every single piece. And it's important to point out that you don't necessarily have to do, this is kind of a more, you know, intricate recipe. You don't necessarily have to do something like this every single breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every single meal. I like doing it just because I just, I, I enjoy it and I like making recipes for you guys. You can literally, sometimes I'll do just something so simple, like I'll just, you know, uh, potatoes in the air fryer, a little bit of steak or lean meat or something, just uh, cooked on the pan, and some grilled vegetables. It's, it doesn't necessarily have to be a big process every single, every single meal. But obviously if you want to do something like this, now you've got the recipe. All right, so next up we're going to cook up our French toast. So let's go ahead and use a little bit of this zero calorie avocado oil spray to just kind of coat the pan a little bit. We don't want our French toast to stick. That wouldn't be any good. And then I'm just going to do a quick dunk. Yeah, that, oh, there we go. Try to make sure there's no spots there. Flatten it down like that. Listen to that sizzle. And you might notice over in the corner I've got my also uh, iPhone that is recording this at the same time for the shortened Instagram version. I would just all record it on the same camera, but the aspect ratio for YouTube is uh, they like horizontal videos and for Instagram it's vertical so just when you try and edit it the, the aspect ratio gets all weird and it doesn't really it doesn't really look right and it crops it out really badly so we're gonna do it this way there we go lay our pan in we got a little bit extra liquid let's go ahead and do this over here and over the pan on this low heat low to medium heat you want to do about four sides or four minutes per side and that'll get it just crispy enough that it'll hold the uh, the filling when we pour it in but it won't get it so crispy that when we put it in the oven it'll come out as a burnt piece of toast all right so it has been four minutes so let's go ahead and flip these bad boys over just flip it over flip it over give it a little flippy flip flip flipperoo ah! And obviously if you have a bigger skillet than this, that's ideal so they don't kind of get smooshed together, which is what's happening here. Um, but you know, if you just, you know, again, like I said before, work with what you've got. This is not going to affect the taste if they're a little smushed, so they're, they're still going to taste bomb. So another four minutes on this side. All right, guys, so this next part is what turns it from French toast into lemon bar French toast. So typically with lemon bars, you make your crust and you flatten it out in your pan and you pour the mixture into that. Well, we don't have a pan for this, so what we're going to do is take the back of our spoon here, back of our spoon, and we're literally just going to indent. You want to do this kind of gently because you don't want to break through the bread because if you do, then your, all your lemon filling is going to get all over the place and uh, we wouldn't want that now would we? So just in like that, just a little bit of an indent. Um, I think it's best to do this, turn the heat off, do, it's best to do this in the pan before you take it out. I've tried doing it on the baking sheet and it just, it basically did exactly what I said not to do and I ripped a hole through. Oh God, it was everywhere. It was in my raccoon wounds. Uh, that's a little preview of the voices we're going to do <laughs> later, by the way. Oh, God, I'm such a nerd. Yeah, I think that'll do just nice. All right, so we've got our same lemon mix that we made before. So now, pour it on in. Look at that. My God. Christ. That is beautiful. When we put these in the oven, we're gonna do it about 25 minutes. I messed around with the time. That seems to be kind of the sweet spot of they're in there just long enough where it sets, but it's not in there so long that it's almost like scorching your mouth hot and you need to wait half an hour to eat them, which defeats the entire point. So 25 minutes, 325 degrees. You can see here, 325, we've already got it set. We're gonna go 
25 minutes. And one thing real quick I want to show you as those are cooking for the next 25 minutes. So look at my area. I've already cleaned up everything and I've already put everything back. I put the pan away, you know, the dishes are rinsing here. Um, very, very, very important, I think, that as you're doing things like this, as you're cooking, doesn't matter what type of recipe it is, you always want to clean up as you go because you know, what, are you, what are you going to do for the next 25 minutes? You know, you've got a bit of time. It's definitely a good idea to cook. It's like she says in Ratatouille, keep your station clean or I will kill you, except, you know, in a female French voice. All right, guys, big reveal. They are coming out of the oven. Oh, let's see how we did. Oh my gosh. I can tell you right now, without even having taken a bite, I can tell you from just how good these smell, these are gonna taste incredible. There you have it, lemon bar bell <laughs> French toast. And God, I mean, seriously, these are, this whole plate is not even 15 grams of fat. I mean, good luck trying to find that in any restaurant anywhere. I mean, they've got lots of protein, they've got nice carbs. I cannot wait to taste these. That is how you make this recipe. Like I said, I'm gonna make a shortened version of this about a minute long and put it on Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok, all that sort of stuff. So you just have quick, easy access to it. And um, God, dude, these are, uh, looking forward to taking a bite. Oh, we gotta do one thing, just to really sell home, you know, that these are a fit version. That's for, for, for marketing purposes. Now we can put it on the magazine and say, oh, if I just eat like this guy, I can look like him. Which you can. All right, first bite, here we go. Oh my gosh. They're so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat these because again, this is literally the first time I'm eating today. This is not just something I made for this video of like, oh yeah, he makes recipes like this, but in reality he eats brown chicken and rice and you know, he's like, that is not what I do at all. It's what I used to do and I used to get not very good results from it. This is actually what I eat. Recipes like this are actually what I do and uh, you can enjoy these too. Time to eat. And then we're gonna head into the booth and we're gonna have some fun doing voices and things like that. All right guys, so here we are in my homemade recording booth. Uh, as I've been working throughout the day, because I still have a full-time project management job that I have to juggle all this with, uh, I've been editing down the little video I mentioned, the minute long version of the recipe. Uh, so that's all ready. So what I'm gonna do now is how I do this is I literally will just watch it through and record the voiceover. And I, I don't really have a script. I don't really, you know, I have kind of a rough outline in my head of what I want to say, but a, a lot of it is just really just improv. I, I'm really just coming up with a lot of it on the spot. Um, <laughs> it might not be the most efficient way to do it, but that's how I do it. Let me give you a quick tour of the booth real quick and then we'll get started. Here are our microphone. This is the Sennheiser 416, which is a nice shotgun mic. Uh, very directional. One thing that's well, good and bad about this microphone is that because of how directional it is, the little tip of the mic is right at the end here. So you basically have to be talking like straight into it. Otherwise, it won't pick it up very well, which again, if you have issues with your mic technique and you glance your head off to the side, it will sound like this. So you really have to be straight onto it. However, on the flip side of that, it can also come in really handy because if you have some exterior noise of, you know, maybe there's like gardening equipment outside, something like, you know, a truck driving by, plane, whatever it is, because it's so directional, sometimes you can get away with a lot more than you maybe could. Down here, we've got our preamp, which is the Apollo Twin X Duo, which uh, is really, really nice. Uh, I, I, I joke a lot of times that this thing is so wasted on me because I feel like I only use maybe like 5% of what it's capable of, but you know, at the time I was like, well, I, what's, what's the best one? What's the, you know, so that's where the one I wanted to get. And then up here we have my computer on the stand. And this is actually how I'll record auditions too, is I'll have my, you know, recording set up here. Everything's plugged in. Um, I'll have the script maybe right in front of me with a little iPad or I might have it up here and that's how I'll record things. Before I do any sort of audition or whether I'm going to record a video or anything like that, I, I like to, uh, 
warm up, not just vocally, but mentally as well, kind of get my improv creative juices flowing. So sometimes that'll be just doing just random impression of things, can be, you know, singing, um, random songs, whatever. So I'm thinking that because for the voiceover for this, we're going to use Stewie Griffin because I, it just felt like it went well with lemon bars. I don't know. Um, let's keep with the same theme. Let's do some Family Guy voices. And uh, just because it's fresh on my mind, because I watched the finale the other night uh, of the show Obi-Wan on Disney+, Plus. let's do what's a good, uh, what's a good Obi-Wan Anakin line. Um... I don't know, how about, uh, if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. So let's do some Family Guy voices saying, if you're not with me, you're my enemy. You know what, Brian? If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Uh, Lois, apparently if you're not with me, then, uh, you're my enemy. Meh. Um, Dad, if you're not with me, um, aren't you my enemy? <laughs> Giggity, all right. Well, if you're not with me, Peter, then, well, you're my enemy. Hey, Peter, if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Oh, if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. The enemy of Adam Way. Oh, no, if you're not with me, you're my enemy. I know. There you go. <laughs> These are the kind of things that I do on a Friday night when I don't feel like going out. <laughs> I feel, you know, I feel warmed up. I feel good. Let's go ahead and try a take of this and uh, let's see what happens. Now, normally I would record into Adobe Audition, which is what I use for my auditions and things. Da -da but for this short little video, until I can afford Final Cut, it's like 300 bucks, uh, I'm using Adobe Premiere Rush. So that just lets you record straight into it using the microphone I have set up. So we're going to do that. We're going to try a take and we're going to see what happens and figure it out from there. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Hey, Stewie Griffin here. And today we're going to be making a rather wonderful dessert dish or breakfast or whatever you'll fancy. Lemon barbell. <laughs> I was trying to make a pun there for all the big boys that are watching. I hope you're watching. Please, please, uh, <laughs> then uh, maybe, maybe send me a DM after. So, first things first, we're going to separate our egg yolk from our white tub. That's not a racial thing. It's simply what we're doing for this recipe. Then we're going to add in our maple syrup and all that stuff, and we're going to make... So you can tell I pretty much lost my train of thought there. That's why I cut it off. But this is literally how I'll do it. I'll just keep recording over and over again until, um, you know, as I come up with new, you know, things to say or new jokes or whatever, and I'll pretty much just keep doing it until I get it right. You know, it might seem like very time consuming, but I don't think this ever takes me longer than like maybe an hour max. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much the whole behind the scenes of uh, how this works and how I do it. Well, everybody, thank you so much. If you made it through the video this far, I'm very impressed and I can tell you like me because this was not a short video. Hey, make sure if you like this video, smash that like and subscribe button. I'm just kidding, I don't care. If you liked the video, you're obviously gonna do that on your own. If you wanna see more of my videos, you're gonna subscribe. I'm not gonna hammer it at you to do it. If you like them, keep watching them. If not, you don't have to. Uh, hopefully you will. But until then, guys, stay vocal, stay fit.